Dragon Dragonblaze, and today we're going to be going over the patch notes that just came yesterday. I know, I kind of skipped out on yesterday's video. <laughs> and edited like a three hour video of freaking VR chat. <laughs> they ended up being 40 minutes, I'm like jeez. A lot of editing. Anywho, it seems like we got a new character. Her name is Nut. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, so she's an archer, physical, DPS, attacks all enemies upon a normal hit, and gains one star energy. First skill, deals damage to one enemy that that's killed the most at it. Okay, so basically, any enemy that got the most kills gets the extra damage deal to it, or just targets the random unit if uh, I guess it starts off, right? Damn them thighs, she thick as fuck, dude. Anywho, if that enemy is not a boss, make it airborne for three seconds. Okay, not that bad. I mean, it's not really significant for like three seconds, but that's still pretty good. So like a little mini stun. Alright, so... Second passive. Inflict damage on all enemies. Additional random damage. Up to two... What, wait, hold up. Inflict damage on all enemies. Inflicts additional damage randomly. Up to times two. No, times ten. <laughs> times two. <laughs> okay, so she's more of like unpredictable when it comes to the second skill. So it can deal a lot of damage. It couldn't. Is what I feel like, at least. But I have to definitely see your skills. Uh, let's see. Third skill. Makes all enemies, except bosses, blind for 10 seconds. Prevent them from landing an attack. Oh, well, that's like a whole invisibility for 10 seconds. Inflicts damage on a random enemy up to 10 times. Okay. Not that bad. Pretty good for PvP. Alright, passives. Well, the cooldown is actually pretty long now, I think about it. So that's not, like, too unbalanced. Okay, passive. Star energy can stack up to 8 times. When star energy is full, Nut flies up into the heaven and inflicts damage on all enemies using two star energy per second okay when the star energy is full that becomes invincible or immune Psh, invincible where did that come from she becomes immune wait okay never mind she technically she technically does become invincible I think it's either immune to debuffs or immune to damage. They didn't really say which one. Her dex is increased and she recovers her HP by damage dealt. Okay, second passive. Nut re reduces damage received up to 55%. Nut only receives damage from 9 enemy attacks when entering battles. Like what? Okay, I, I think I get it. Never mind. I think up to nine hits, this is active. When those nine hits pass, I guess this turns off. Is what I'm guessing, at least. Which element was explained a little bit better. But third passive. Increases physical attack and increases range attack. Okay, now we go to the hard part to read. Because <laughs> it's so small. Okay. Decrease accuracy by 2%. For all enemies except boss types. Decrease accuracy for 10% for all enemies except bosses. When the third skill is used, inflict times 3 damage to a random enemy up to 10 times. Increase physical damage. Okay. Ultimate enhance. Increase your attack 
and actual ultimate hands increases your attack and AOE attack inside a 10 men arena. Okay, a 10 men arena character, basically. Alright. Increases your dex up to 50% and your attack speed up to 5% upon normal hits. Stacks up to 10 times when using your first skill. Ignores enemies' evasions. And their phase to immunity. Inflicts damage equal to 40% of max HP. When a star energy is full, she avoids all attacks and allies will not miss for 6 seconds inside a 10-man arena. She uses star energy to inflict times 5 damage on all enemies per second, removes all enemies buffs every second, none enters the battlefield with all eight energies inside of Tim Man Arena, increases your range attack. Additionally, your range attack is increased by 35% per enhance. Inflict, well, enemies increase received range damage. Okay, not have bad getting her to arch. Actually gives you a pretty big advantage when you're inside of a 10 man arena. Okay, her infinity skill. When star energy is full, increase your physical damage. Stacks up to one time. Stacks up to 10. Wait, what? I guess stacks up to 10 times. I don't know why. I guess that's a typo. Reset skill of the first skill. Oh, we're just at school now with the first skill. That well, it's still technically the same thing. But she uses her her star energy to attack enemies. She disrupts all enemies from using normal attacks and prevents them from healing. Okay, pretty nice. Not bad. While well, she uses one energy per attack. Wait, no. Yeah, she uses one star energy every second to attack enemies inflicts times 5 damage at random I think that's what that says for 11 seconds the effects of the second passive are enhanced not only receives 1 damage from I guess this is supposed to be she only receives 9 damage from enemy attacks when entering. That's what I'm guessing. Anywho, it only receives 1 damage from 27 attacks. Oh, okay, this is supposed to say a number here up to 9 attacks. I'm guessing. So that's why I was confused on that. Okay. Let's see, when star energy is full in 10 man arena, increase received damage for enemies for up to 11 seconds, increase your main stats, and every infinity enhance, your main stats are increased. Alright, infinity ability that you can up is your AoE damage, or your range damage, or your accuracy. Alright, so we have a special summoning banner for Nut, if you guys actually plan on building her. And we have a new calendar. And we also have a new Adventure Sanctum, or Sanctuary. Oh yeah, this is exactly what it looks like inside of the um, arena. This little eye here on the turtle actually t tries to blink, but it... It actually ends up turning into a box of him blinking. I think they misplaced it or didn't actually fully implement it. So, yeah. We do. That's the only character that was released this week. I don't really feel like building Nut just because 
I'm just holding off and waiting for each character that comes out and just going from there. Alright, so what do we all have? I know I finished this today. So I can go ahead and get this. Which is one of the goddess tokens. That's the only one you can get from this event, too. It's going to be really, really good. Let's see. What do I still have on you, Archer? I should still have the Dragon Charms, right? Oh no, this is the Sage stuff. Unless they plan on putting out a full set of Goddess, nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna stick with the Sage set. But yeah, DD is pretty much it. Let's get into the summons. Oh yeah, some of you guys have been wondering what's up with the tier list. I know, it's... Oh, oh okay, I get her anyway. <laughs> I was even trying for it, but alright, sure, why not? But yeah, the tier list will start again, but at the end of this month is when I'll start back trying to get it done. That's at least what I plan on doing. Just because I've been busy with work and everything, and I'll actually have a set schedule soon to where I know which days I'm going to work. Sometimes I won't. Because they'll just have extra hours that I can just, you know, take. But, yeah. Right now I don't have a set schedule, so it's just been, like, really rough trying to, you know, mess with the tier list. So the community tier list will come back. And hopefully we can get some more stuff done. But guys, with that said, thank you guys for all the support. It's been cool. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.